my dear students, as we are talking about how to check references, there are a few more bits and pieces related to checking different kind of references. Very important bit and piece about checking reference is evaluating references. While obtaining reference information is really important, it has no real value if it is not properly evaluated. So reference check is not just a retrieving information, but you have to check that how you retrieve information and whether the information is properly evaluated and whether the information is right or wrong. So by and large, reference check should be viewed as an interview. So yes, you have conducted an interview in a very thorough manner, but if you are conducting a reference check without proper review, without proper evaluation, there is no benefit of such kind of a reference checks. So it is very much important to evaluate the quality of the reference, that how you have checked it. That is the person conducting the check must listen to or read the information carefully in relation to the requirement and responsibilities of the job. So reference check is a very, very job specific. If you are checking a reference for assistant HR manager, you must need to ask a question from former employers about the information related to the job. It doesn't mean that you are checking a reference for assistant man HR manager and you are qu asking a question about the accounting system managed by the person. So always ask a question from the former reply which must need to be job related and that must need to be related to the responsibilities of the job person have performed in the previous position in the previous organization. In some ways, references are quite more difficult to assess than one interview because they tend to be more subjective. In interview, you have asked a certain number of objective questions, but when you are going for the reference checks, it can be more subjective because one person is retrieving information about their prospective employee from their pro former employers. Regardless of how well your questions are worded, former employers may provide, they may, I use the word may, they may provide biased, albeit truthful, positive and negative responses, which may cloud the picture of an applicant and justify additional checking. If you are quite confused in retrieving information and the formal employers are providing some kind of information which may be truthful, which may be positive, which may be negative, which may be falsified. So if, it, if this thing would happen, obviously it would blur the overall picture of the reference checks. And if the picture is blurred, then you may need to go for an additional reference checks. And it would take more time, it would need more cost. So you need to be very critical when evaluating the references and when you are retrieving information from the former employers. Also, loss of one job doesn't necessarily mean failure in another, in another job, nor does it indicate employee deficiencies. So if someone lost one job, it doesn't mean that person is failure, it doesn't mean that person is not suitable, it doesn't mean that employee have some kind of a deficiencies. So you need to explore the reason that why the person left and then you need to fix the opportunity of the person and the suitability of the person to your job. It's conceivable that termination could have been avoided if there had been a more appropriate job match or if employee's personality had been more compatible uh, with that of her manager. So it may be related to the compatibility of your previous uh, potential employees with their former employers and with the particularly with the manager with which he was working. So it's very much important to see the compatibility of the person when you are evaluating the reference checks. 